many African Americans still working just above poverty. Uh, and you think about our school system, for the most part, uh, it's trouble in our urban uh, core. I think what we have not solved adequately is how we help people move up the economic ladder. African Americans who are in poverty, I like to also always mention the working poor and those just above because we we often think about right now I, I believe we're at 29 percent of our city uh, is in poverty with uh, a good portion of that being represented by black and brown people but if you then take into account those individuals who are just above income wise but still having the same struggles of those who are poor working poor uh, those numbers get even higher. Shared prosperity has allowed us to really catalyze that as an issue to address and now we're just trying to understand what is our intentional effort to go about that and how do we really use our resources and knowledge and so on and so forth to, to, to go about creating some change. Problems are so real, so manifested in our lives every day that there's a responsibility on thinking about not only the first part of his fight around civil rights, but the, the second half of his fight for silver rights. And, uh, and so I think you know, that's something for those of us who have dedicated our lives uh, to make the city a better place then also just elevating this issue of equity and really being about solutions from an equity perspective is what's needed in America and in urban communities across America.